grew up, the person that was all about me and my family always taught me it's, it's about the better of everyone else. So um, coming here, it was, it was easy adjustment just to do whatever the team needs. So uh, it's been fun just trying to do whatever we can do to win. Did you think it was going to be as gotten heavy as it ended up being? Or? I mean, it, not necessarily. Um, but I mean, that's the role of a tight end. So just like I said, whatever we have to do to win, just, it makes us happy. And just being a part of it, it's just awesome. What kind of role did you have in your high school offense? Um, you know, I was I was both. Uh, it, our offense was pretty similar to Clemson. Uh, we went we ran spread, but then also we were all attached on the line a bunch too. So it wasn't necessarily like a huge adjustment, <laughs> but uh, it was adjustment for sure. What was the process that brought you out from Texas to Clemson? Um, I think the main thing was the coaching staff. Um, Coach Sweeney's awesome. Um, Coach E, Coach Scott, all the coaches. Um, and then when I came here a couple times on a visit, I just felt like this was a place to be. Um, I feel like the Lord was showing me that this is where I need to be. And so I've been here for about four years now, and it's been awesome. I've looked back once. Did you grow up in kind of a smaller area? Or you I did. I grew up in a small town. Um, it's called Argyle. It's about, I don't know, it's, we have like three stoplights in it. So it's it's not a big place. Um, it's, it's a lot like Clemson. It's very outdoor heavy. Um, and so it was just a good fit. So, so, so when you came here, you kind of looked around and were like, all right, I feel this vibe. Yeah, yeah, I liked it a lot. It's very pretty. Um, it's different from Texas, the landscape and everything, but I love how there's lakes all around here in the mountains. You can see them when you're on the lake. Very pretty, the trees everywhere. So it was, it was a good fit. What were some of the other places you were kind of looking at? Um, Alabama and Oklahoma and Texas were kind of the other three that I was pretty close looking at. You just kind of came here and looked at it? Yeah. Um, I don't know, it was just, I, I came into here my sophomore year in high school, or going into my sophomore year, um, and, you know, I just felt like this was a place to be. Um, I just, everywhere I went before I committed here, it just didn't really have the same feel. Um, the family atmosphere here, and just how much the coaches care for all the players, and you can just see it, just, it's different when you go to different programs. Um, I'm not trying to knock any other programs, but it's just it's different. You know, families are always, you always see people's families around here, and that's just not normal. How do you feel like your game has sort of evolved as you kind of come through this program? How do you feel like the tight end program has evolved you know, since you've arrived on campus? Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably going to keep changing for however many years Clemson football is playing. you got to you change your personnel group. So, I mean, some guys you'll have in the room that there's been years that's been a bunch of really good playmakers that get up and can catch the ball and some years you have more guys that are more blocking. So it's gonna change regardless of your personnel. It's just like every position. Um, but I mean I think this year the depth we have in our group, we have four four or five guys that go out there and play and execute. So that's kind of been our strength is we have a bunch of guys rolling and play. And so we're using that to our advantage. At any, point, at any point early in your career did you sort of feel like maybe I'll step into that Jordan Leggett role or did you kinda of always sort of know yourself and say maybe that may Yeah, be I mean He's he's a freak. Uh, there's it's gonna be. I don't know if anyone could come and replace what he did. Um, but you know, once again, you don't want to be like anyone else. You want to be your own person. Uh, and so just coming in and doing what I've done, I've been I've been pleased with it. Uh, Help the team win. Just whatever we can do. To win. What what differentiates each of you know? You've got a group of four or five guys in the tight end room. What's different about each of them? Um, I mean. So we start with Luke Price. Um, he's a grinder. Uh, he came in just in the spring and started playing tight end. And for him to be able to learn the whole offense is just very impressive. Um, he's a great guy. He works hard, like I said. And then you know, Davis Allen is a freshman. Um, guys, he's a freak. Um, He's like 6'5", almost 240-ish, and he can run really well, and he can block really well, and he's understood the offense, which is, once again, impressive, just to be a freshman and learn that. And then Braden, obviously, everyone knows how great of an athlete he is. Um, he can stretch the offense out, make people run. Um, so each guy just kind of brings their own different thing. Is tight end one of the harder positions in this offense to learn, you know, going from being on the line, off the line, you know, um, I don't know if I'm if I want to say it's harder in other positions because um, each position has a challenge. Um, we do have to do a bunch of stuff though. I mean, we have to know the whole passing game. We have to be in the whole running game. So it is it's difficult. But I mean, the coaches we have here are great, and they do a good job of explaining everything and teaching you pretty quick. Like I said, we have two guys that were able to learn it basically in less than a year. So that's just that's a tribute to all of our coaches and how great they are. How do you think the game's changed now that Braden's back? Um, 
you know, I mean, we're not gonna. It's we're gonna do what we do. Um, I don't think one person anywhere, no matter what who they are, is gonna change our, the offense that we run here. Um, I mean, he's he's great. There's obviously stuff that he can do that I couldn't do. So I mean, when he's in there, he might do some different stuff than I do. Um, but that's just game plan stuff. Um, he, he played great last game. He was able to get in space, and he had some big key blocks for a couple of runs. So, I mean, I was excited for him. It was awesome to get him back out there and have him play. It was great.